Okay, in this tutorial, uh, we're gonna look at how to log in as a user creator uh, and add users, delete users, edit users, whatever you need to do. Uh, so basically, I created a user for Sonia, um, a user creator, a, pro a profile type called user creator for Sonia. Uh, I'm gonna enter in right now as her, and I'll email you the username and password. So you have that. And so once once Sonia logs in, you're gonna see some similar stuff, but just specific to her more. Uh, and that is the admin bar. And usually you see a black and gray part with a lot more options. For Sonia, all she does is create users. And so she can log in like any other user and see the tenant stuff. But over here in people, she can click that. And that'll take her to the user screen. And here she can see that she's a user creator. Uh, there's administrators. Um, and there'll be users. And so what I'm going to do is create a user. I'm going to add myself as a user. So she clicks add user. Username Alf Barrero. Email Alf at Barrero.com. It's my personal one. Uh, and then we'll put a password in and active we can go ahead, we can block it so she can create a whole bunch of users and then make them active when she wants but usually she'll probably just be creating the user making them active she can check here and notify the user this is in an email and I'll check that as well and you can put the real name it could be a tenant um, a master account that many people can use uh, but it just it needs an email so it, ne if it, it needs to recover the password and stuff like that so here's the new account go ahead and create it and then uh, a welcome message has been sent so she knows that that has been sent if she goes back to people she can see that I've been added, but I don't have, I'm active. Uh, so the moment I log in, since she created it, the moment uh, I can log in at any moment, but I don't have a room, just authenticate it. So I can go in and just see the, so, let, so see the tenant information. So let me log out. And I'm gonna log in as a tenant. So do tenant login. Oh, password and click login and there uh, no admin bar obviously I'm just a tenant I just get this type of information uh, and here you can see that Alpha is logged in I could log out here at any moment and I'll do that and, and that's it Sonia created a user um, actually that's not it let me go in as Sonia again uh, turns out that Alf Barrero was not a good tenant and so we're going to get rid of him and so we're going to log in as Sonia again get the password log in she logs in she can go to people and here we're gonna click we're gonna check Alfaro we can block this user so that the account stays but they can't get in but actually here we're just gonna cancel it and we'll update that And here we'll delete account and its contents. Just get rid of it. It's really no contents that's being saved. Maybe some cookies and stuff like that. But all that get cancelled. Here you know that you're doing who you're doing. It'll cancel the account, and then you're done. You see, you're logged in as Sonia, and we'll log you out now. And so once that account is finished, and there is no other one. Mm -hmm. There's, that person isn't there anymore, so you've created a user, they've logged in, uh, you kicked them out of the building, and you canceled that user's account, 
and you're done. And so you can always go home and go through the website. Uh, you'll just have that, that option to always go there, that this uh, content creator, user created, um, that I, this profile that I made has that access only. And so we can log out. And so yeah, we can create other ones like that now that I've created this uh, user type, uh, profile type, if Sonia has an assistant or something like that. So let me log out here, and we're done. Mm -mm -mm.